Okay, first I'm going to collect my sample. I've got these labeled before treatment, after treatment. I'm going to leave this after treatment jar here. It'll be in the shade there. And I just I'm probably just going to catch this as I'm driving by next time. I don't know what vehicle or when it'll be, but uh, today's two. Uh, today's Tuesday. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Either late Thursday or Friday would be ideal. Okay. And as I said, uh, when I first saw that those. Um, mite results I thought oh, oh something's wrong with this hive and uh, as you can see uh, queenless so I don't know that it matters very much where these bees are coming from but we'll take them off the middle of the brood chamber and they're kind of scattered so it might be a bit of a process getting a sample here Okay, that, that ought to be at least a couple hundred bees. You saw I was sliding that, the lid of that jar just past the bees on the frame, and they kind of tumble into it. And that's as good a way of collecting a sample as, as any I found. Okay, now I gotta shake out the supers. Notice I did the in hive part of that first. I spare myself as many stings as possible. So taking all this stuff home after. So I'm just gonna swap. Do this frame by frame with an extra box that I was sitting on. There's really not a whole lot of bees here. And the hive that's messed up on top isn't going to make a whole lot of so these are all pretty light. I finished uh, my first round of last sites uh, today. And so extracting's been going pretty well. I'm somehow slow. I'm behind this year. I started late. Had a few, well, not really. Oh, I forgot to put these strips in. Should do that. This is what an apistan strips look like. Uh, it's a shame that we got resistant to them because they really are the nicest strip. They slide in so easy. They are the the transparency <clears throat> maybe wasn't the best part of it because <clears throat> they're easy to lose track of. You can see in the hive here that uh, it's unless you're really looking for them, you could it was easy to miss a few when you're pulling them out. 
that was perhaps uh maybe that's why they got resistance so fast people are leaving them in uh, i don't know okay we're still emptying frames if i can get my camera to cooperate here So anyway, yeah, extracting very good uh, that having that extra capacity, the second extracting line <laughs> made everyone else's life easier. The boy sure kept me busy trying to keep up to it, bringing her out of the field. So there hasn't been a whole heck of a lot of time for making videos and forcing around. And it's not going to be a huge crop, not going to be a disaster. Uh, went into the honey, main honey flow with pretty light highs. As we really didn't get a lot of foraging weather during the spring build-up period. So I pretty much went straight from feeding to putting on honey supers. So about the first 20 pounds of honey went straight into the corners of the brood chambers. Because there was basically no spring honey. That has me a little bit concerned, of course, because Canola honey doesn't make a great honey for bees to winter on. So, you know, to the extent that the brood chambers have lots of that in it, that's a concern. Okay. Lit it up. Put that sample jar right there. Take our full sample jar home. So stay tuned for a bee shake to find out whether Apistan will give me one last uh, one last treatment before uh, that's it. Thanks a lot, everyone. Have a great night.